Okay, now we're going to focus in on your consumer market analysis and your demographics for your target population. Again, we have selected a few tools that are going to be very useful to help us find data to zero in on that target population. The U.S. Census and Social Explorer are very useful for getting demographic information. Social Explorer allows you to take the census information and visualize it. And I find it a useful tool for starting out to find out exactly where your target population is located. So if I click on Explore, once I get to Social Explorer, I then get a map of the United States. Now we know that I'm only interested in, in Rhode Island and I might want to focus in a little bit on the different counties in Rhode Island. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to search by county level. But you could also narrow your search to other places as well. MSA, state level if you only want to get to that layer of granularity, or census track if you want very specific area. For my purposes, I'm going to choose the county area. And I'm going to look, leave it set for shaded area. And I'm going to change the data. So when we come over to change the data, you see all of the different data sets that are available to us. So I'm going to take a look at just house value. I might also want to take a look later on at income or age or other factors that might influence my business. Right now we're going to look at house value and I'm going to look at house value for all owner occupied housing units that are more than 500,000. So we first see a map of the United States and we have to zero in by zooming till we get to just the area we're interested in. If I hold my cursor over Newport County, Rhode Island, I find that 30% of the houses there are valued at over 500,000. This probably would be a better location than the Providence County area where only 5% are valued over 500,000. Some other areas I might wish to explore would be the Boston area, Cape, Martha's Vineyard, any area that's darker and that has a good percentage of houses over 500,000. Now I could also change geographic area as well. And I see specifically where those housing units are. So it might be useful to find exactly where I might want to put my business. Social Explorer is a powerful tool and it does many, many things and it looks at a lot of demographics in a lot of different areas. So I would suggest to use Social Explorer effectively, you will want to look at their help screens. They have a lot of help screens and getting you started on maps, visualizing data and creating reports. It's a very useful tool for anything that you're looking for in terms of demographics. The other tool that we want to look at is the U.S. Census data. Here you can search by zip code, county, whatever you want. So since I visualized on Social Explorer that I thought that um, Newport County would be a good place to open my business for interior design, I'm going to look at just Newport. And I'm going to look at age demographics and housing estimates. So here I get a table that gives me all of the age, the race, and the total population. On the left hand side I can see where I can change all of my tables depending on what I'm looking for. Educational attainment, school status, and I think somewhere in here if I keep loading them I'll find housing level as well. But this is a good place to start to get all of those facts and figures for your demographics.
As I mentioned earlier, Merchant Intellect is another good place to get demographic information. And if you scroll down to Demographics, it's very simple. You just choose if you want a place or a city or a county. We'll choose a place or a city and enter my city. and search for demographics. Here I get the Claritas reports and we get several different choices here. We can select what we want and then we can enter our email to have those reports sent to us. Here is one of the reports that I had sent to me. This was the PopFax demographic snapshot and you may have noticed it's 12, page long, 12 pages long and it gives us information about households, family households, a demographic uh, snapshot, and other information about Newport, Rhode Island. Income level. Employment. How many people are employed in certain occupations? That could be very useful to me. Okay. So that's a very easy tool to use if you want demographic information. And the last tool I want to show you for finding um, demographic information is back to BizMiner. You may remember that we looked at the industry reports earlier. But today, right now, we're going to take a look at the industry market report and the competitive market narrative. So all I do is select a market area and because I've been dealing with um, Newport County I decided I would stay with the county level. So I chose Rhode Island and now Newport County. And I can also choose a place to enter on my map for a center point. So because I'm familiar with Bellevue Ave I will choose Bellevue Ave. and access now. These sometimes take a little time to load so let me show you a report that I downloaded a little while ago. This is the PDF for the industry market report for Newport County and I get a table of contents. I also get my list of competitors, a competitor map showing me where my competitors are located, market volume, market share, sales, COVID impact. You can see that since COVID sales have gone quite quite a bit down. From December to June they are now cut almost in half. Market penetration, employment, and so forth. I also have a consumer competitive market con competitive market narrative series here which also tells me similar type information if i had chosen the html report instead of the pdf report for the industry market report i could see a list of my actual competitors and where they are located It didn't show the map on the HTML as it did in the PDF, so I've used both of them. Also notice there's the demographics here as well. So you can get your income levels and age in a very short synopsis of um, your, your location, uh, your demographics for your location. So just these four tools will help you find the demographics. Claritas is kind of a fun tool where you can look up a zip code and find the characteristics of your population. And this is just here if you need to look up a zip code. 
Again, if you need any help exploring these tools, please don't hesitate to contact me.